In the Miccosukee community, we encourage our youngsters to never stop learning, whether it's the values of their community or strategies to succeed in the wider world. Let's visit the Miccosukee Indian School's College Fair and hear what the kids have to say. Melissa Garcia and I'm the guidance counselor here at the Miccosukee Indian School. I've been here for about 12 years now and uh, part of my job is to show the students what opportunities they have once they graduate from the Miccosukee Indian School and what I've done in years past is that I take them to the schools. I will actually take them to FIU, Miami-Dade and they get a campus tour but this year I thought what a great idea would it be to have maybe all the schools under one roof so that they get to see the variety of different educational options available to them. So this year, we tried to uh, have all different sorts of schools. We have culinary schools, art schools, uh, cosmetology, uh, FIU, you know, the big, you know, Miami-Dade, UM. We tried to uh, have a wide variety of schools so that we could capture all the students' interests. My goals are to make clothes. I want to be a fashion designer. I want to be successful in life. My inspiration is my mom, my great-grandma, and from that generation on, because they've been sewing their whole life. So I want to in inherit that and add some modern-day style to it. And I want to bring out my culture and my clothes. I plan to infuse my culture with today's style and I want to infuse that with the 1950s punk rock and all of that stuff together. Yeah, I'm a big reader and usually after I like to write and when I graduate I want to be a journalist and I want to like, I just want people to know what I write about. What I want to write about is like I want, I want them to know why it's important for us to stay true to our culture. I want them to know, like, I want them to, to speak the language more. I fear that people will, like, people will stop talking in the language. And without our language, we're just, we're just regular people. Our language is who, who makes us what, who we are. It's what makes us Native American. It's, it's what separates us from other people. And without that, we're, we're just regular people. Once I did get my degree in sports management, I wanted to get like a basketball team started around here for the younger generation because the older ones aren't really around. They're either not interested in playing basketball or the reservation because there's not enough kids to participate in the sport. So they usually leave to Miami to play, but no one really knows how great that natives are, can be in basketball and sports in general, so. My goal is that the students leave here today with a better understanding of all the educational options that are available to them. Um, our students graduate from here and the idea is for them to go out into the community and get their education and hopefully be able to come back and contribute to the tribe and be a part of the tribe and be the teachers and be the doctors and the nurses and, and be able to give back to their tribe. So I always tell them, you know, go out there, get your education, but um, prepare yourself to be able to come back and contribute to your tribe. So that was the goal for today, for our students to leave with an understanding of the variety of educational options that they have out there that it's, it's just down the road, it's not very far. We're on the reservation and we're out here in the Everglades, but really just down the road, we have major universities and colleges and, and technical vocational schools. We have so many things available to them and I want them to get exposed to that so they know once they graduate here, they have a plan and then they're ready to be able to educate themselves and also give back to their tribe. To tell the younger kids is they can't always just rely on the tribe to help them out with everything. They actually have to go out there, make something happen, work for their goals, and just have something to offer back to the tribe. To actually get that knowledge and explore the world and see it, not just be bound to the limits within the reservation is 
probably one of the greatest things you can do to get to know people, expand their education, and help out their people. Life can be hard, but you've got to push harder and push yourself to get to the goal you want to get to and just know that things are easy to fall into, but you got to be strong enough to just pass that and look beyond. My message to the future generation is that you're never too old or too young to plan your future. You know, just keep a positive thought and, you know, go for your goal. You know, study what you want.